In the world of metalworking, few sights are as mesmerizing as the cascade of glowing sparks that fly when a grinder meets iron or steel. It's a common sight in workshops and construction sites, but what exactly causes this dazzling display? At first glance, it might seem like the grinder simply shaves off bits of metal and they somehow catch fire. But the science behind these sparks is far more fascinating. It involves physics, chemistry, and even thermodynamics, all working together in an instant to produce a spectacle of heat and light. So what happens at the point of contact that makes iron and steel erupt into a shower of fiery streaks? To understand why iron and steel spark when cut, let's discover the science behind it, right here on History of Simple Things. To begin, we must examine the properties of iron and steel. Iron, the base element, is a ferromagnetic metal that reacts readily with oxygen, forming iron oxides. Steel, an alloy of iron with varying amounts of carbon and other elements, retains many of iron's properties, but can also include additives that alter its hardness, strength, and resistance to oxidation. When a grinding wheel, often composed of abrasive particles like aluminum oxide or silicon carbide, makes contact with iron or steel. It doesn't simply scrape away material. Instead, it generates extreme friction, which leads to localized heating at the point of contact. This heat is intense, often reaching temperatures above 1,000 degrees Celsius, 1,832 degrees Fahrenheit, sufficient to soften and even partially liquefy tiny particles of metal. As these tiny glowing fragments break away from the metal surface, they react immediately with oxygen in the air. The heat generated by the grinding process is more than enough to initiate oxidation. When iron combines with oxygen at high temperatures, it forms iron oxide, more commonly recognized as rust. However, in this rapid oxidation process, the reaction releases additional heat, further intensifying the glow of the sparks. This is similar to how fireworks or burning metal shavings work. A combination of metal, heat, and oxygen leads to a combustion reaction. The result is a brilliant trail of sparks, each one a burning particle of metal, undergoing a rapid transformation into oxide. One of the fascinating aspects of these sparks is their shape and trajectory. If you observe closely, You'll notice that some sparks travel in straight lines while others burst apart into smaller fragments mid-air. This behavior is largely due to the varying composition of the steel being cut. Higher carbon steels, for example, tend to produce sparks that branch out, forming star-like patterns. This happens because carbon increases the brittleness of the sparks, causing them to fracture as they fly. On the other hand, lower carbon steels create longer, straighter sparks because the particles stay more intact. The presence of additional elements, such as manganese, chromium, or nickel, can also affect the appearance of the sparks, subtly altering their brightness, intensity, and movement. The grinding wheel itself plays an essential role in the sparking phenomenon. Different abrasive materials generate varying levels of heat and friction. Harder abrasives, such as silicon carbide, cut through metal more aggressively, producing higher temperatures and more intense sparks. Meanwhile, softer abrasives might generate less heat, reducing the brightness of the sparks. The speed of the grinder is another crucial factor. A high-speed grinder removes material more rapidly, increasing both the temperature and the number of sparks produced. Conversely, a slower grinder might generate fewer sparks because the heat buildup is less intense and the metal particles do not reach the necessary ignition temperature as easily. Interestingly, not all metals spark when cut with a grinder. Iron and steel are particularly prone to sparking because of their oxidation properties and high melting points. In contrast, metals like aluminum, copper, and lead do not produce sparks in the same way. This is due to their lower melting points and different oxidation behaviors. Aluminum, for instance, forms an oxide layer almost instantly when exposed to air, but this layer does not ignite like iron oxide. 
Additionally, aluminum conducts heat very efficiently, preventing the localized overheating that occurs with iron and steel. This explains why grinding aluminum results in a dull, smeary effect rather than a fiery shower of sparks. The practical applications of understanding these sparks extend beyond mere curiosity. In metalworking industries, analyzing the spark patterns can actually be a method of identifying unknown metals. Skilled workers can often determine the carbon content of steel or distinguish between different alloys just by observing how the sparks behave. This technique, known as spark testing, has been used for decades as a quick and effective way to identify metals without specialized equipment. The presence of certain alloying elements can be inferred based on the brightness, branching, and duration of the sparks. Beyond the workshop, the science behind these sparks has implications in fire safety and industrial hazard prevention. Since the sparks are essentially burning particles of metal, they can pose a fire risk in environments where flammable materials or gases are present. This is why grinding operations are carefully controlled in industries where fire hazards exist and proper safety precautions, such as the use of spark containment shields and fire-resistant clothing, are strictly enforced. Even a small spark can be enough to ignite a combustible substance under the right conditions, making it crucial for workers to understand the risks involved in grinding operations. Perhaps the most remarkable aspect of this phenomenon is how it showcases the fundamental principles of physics and chemistry in action. The process of grinding iron and steel transforms kinetic energy into thermal energy, triggering an oxidation reaction that releases additional energy in the form of light and heat. It is a chain reaction that occurs within milliseconds, yet it perfectly encapsulates the relationship between friction, heat, and combustion. What seems like a simple mechanical action is, in reality, a demonstration of thermodynamics and material science unfolding in real time. In the end, the sight of iron and steel sparking under the force of a grinder is more than just an industrial spectacle. It is a window into the intricate behavior of metals, the nature of oxidation, and the power of heat and friction. It is a reminder that even the most routine tasks in manufacturing and construction are governed by the same fundamental forces that drive combustion, energy transfer, and material transformation. The next time you see a grinder at work sending a shower of glowing embers into the air, you'll know that behind each flickering spark lies a world of fascinating science playing out in an instant before your eyes. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.